Good day, one and all. My name is Kathy, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. Today, I am making a card based on this past Friday's Craft Roulette Challenge number 224. Uh, the project we need to do is a mini card. We need to use the colors of a pretty day. We need to have scents and or noses. And random, we had to include packaging somewhere. I been thinking on this for a few days and I've decided I'm going to make a gift tag card. Uh, my aunt's birthday is tomorrow so I'm just going to make her a little tag to put on the package and it's a little mini card. So what I needed today I have a piece of three inch by ten inch cardstock. Now I'm going to fold that or score that at the five inch mark just like I do my five by seven cards. And then I'm gonna fold that over and crease it with my bone folder. Then I have this little um, corner punch that I got. Um, I got it at a yard sale for $2. And I'm gonna use this one with this little heart. It doesn't make much of um, a cut, it's just a very light corner. I'm just gonna do that on the front. You can see it just makes like a little tiny heart-shaped edge and it does a, some light embossing, but the embossing is not really important. Now up here, I am going to use the same hard edge. Sorry for the noise, that takes a little longer. There. So now we have the back, I'm leaving straight, but we have the nice die cut edge. I forgot the hole punch, we'll do that later. Um, let's get started on the card. I have picked for my packaging, this Gina K Design Stamp and Die Bundle that I got the other day. I put the stamps in their own folder now, so I have this to use. I just need a piece of Oh, I want to say two and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I have my, and the packaging, it's, it's kind of hard to reuse because there's a lot of um, ink and other stuff transfers on here. So I'm just going to cut it. This end looks pretty good. So I'm going to cut it two and three quarters inch wide, hopefully, and then, oh yeah, what did I say, four and three quarters tall. So there's my piece of packaging. And I think I need to edge punch the corners of this. So here goes some loud noises again. Now, when I think of a pretty day, to me, that is dead winter with tons of snow. The world is quiet and we have a gentle snowfall. But I've decided to go with a pretty blue sky, uh, maybe with a little bit of pink of the setting sun. So that's what I'm going for on this card, instead of making this a Christmas card because it's a gift tag for a birthday that's not in Chris at Christmas time. Plenty of packaging I can use for something else. All right, and then that will go right on here just like that. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending. I don't need my large waffle flower grip mat. I'm just using my, what size is this? Oh, and there's a rhinestone that, yep. This looks to be about, oh, this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch. Oh, it has the outlines for the A2 cards on the grid mat. But this is the six by, yeah, six by six size. It works just the same. Now I'm gonna ink blend 
for my background. And since I'm doing a sky, I chose my two normal sky colors that I love to use. And I'm gonna use this scrap just to get any blue off here. I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass. And I'm gonna do it in a swirly motion so that I leave some white so it looks like clouds in the sky. And then I'm doing Broken China, which is a brighter blue. And I'm gonna go along the edge. Oh, that's a little too much. Oh dear. Let's, we can't turn this puppy over. I gotta cut another piece. All right, best laid plans. You never know what's gonna happen. Especially once you get on camera. But that's okay, I want people to know um, that we all make mistakes. We all have screw-ups. That's not three and three, two and three. See, I can't even cut right now. I'm all libbered. And four and three quarters. Okay. Stamp again. All right, here goes loud noises. You never know what you can find at garage and yard sales that you normally wouldn't think of. All right, now I gotta get this bright blue off here. That was a little too wet. I'll just use the rest of this to get that off. That is not what I wanted to happen. So while I have this blue on here and it is less, I'm just gonna do the edges now. <laughs> just using what's already on the brush. And that's what I wanted, just a a little bit of blue on the edge. Now I'm gonna take this, get some more off, and then I'm just gonna do light, whatever's left on here. Now these do smooth out and blend nicely. Now I'm gonna go with the tumbled glass. All right, done with this. No more ink blending. Pick this up and get a quick drink here. Okay. If I remember to drink, I don't cough as much. Okay. Now, for what is going to be on this, let's get rid of that scrap. I'm using these owl stamps that I got many years ago at a rubber stamping convention. I looked them up online and they are from a company called Dare to Be Artsy. They're just adorable. And I love that you have all these different owls, but you only needed to buy one die set. So I'm gonna choose this owl with the flowers on it. So this is the, this owl. And then I'm gonna use the cupcake. So I need that. Now I'm gonna leave that out of the bag because these are gonna get repackaged when I'm done here. So I need this owl, this cupcake, wherever it is. 
Oh, there it is. Fell off. Okay. And there's one saying on here. It's your day. Have a cupcake. It's your day. Have a cupcake. There it is. Okay. And then I have this leftover from the other day when I um, did the card with Gina Kay's um, all-in-one stamp and cut. So that's a happy birthday one that I'll use. I'm going to put the lid back on that. So I'm going to stamp. I'll get out my Misty stamping platform. And I have a piece. You know what? We're just going to use the rest of my packaging here. We're going to get full use out of this packaging. I'm going to... That's not the right owl. Oh dear, this is not a good day in progress. That was the graduation owl. This is the flower owl. I'm going to stamp this twice. And the cupcake once. Um, I'm going to do this twice because I am going to cut out the wings and have them popped up. I'm looking for my ink. This really is not a... A day to do. <laughs> it's just we had a wonderful cool week this past week and then it's getting hot and humid again. Okay we'll do a little bit more ink on the owl. The cupcake looks perfect. And then the next owl, I only need to make sure that the wings come out. There we go. Now I'm just going to wipe this off really quick. I don't want to use water. I'm going to do it again. Um, I don't want it to be runny. Now, I just really need the wings on here. There we go. Okay, now I'll just clean these both with water. Making full use of my packaging. Now, to die cut these out, I'll stick those stamps right in there. I only need to run this through once because I don't need to cut this owl out by machine. I'm going to do it by hand. Now, these this is a, a much older set. I don't even know if they're available. I went to their website and searched on owls, but I only got word descriptions, no pictures. So I'll have to do a complete internet search to find the names of the various die sets that are all mixed together here. As my goal at reorganizing is to get everything named, labeled by manufacturer and keep the sets. All right. Not too bad on the owl. Okay, now I'm just going to cut his wings out right here, and I'm going to use my smaller scissors. And I'm going straight on the line. I'm not great at um, leaving a white border. The white border is already on the one already. I'm going to have the owl holding the cupcake is my intention. There's that wing.
Okay, and there's the other one. Now I'm done die cutting, not done stamping. Now I need to color the L, and I don't think I need to put anything down on my mat because this is thick um, rather than thin paper. Now I've chosen a whole bunch of different colors here. Um, let's see, what was I going to do for the, all right, the belly, I want to do E182 putty, not the flower parts, just the parts because um, there, there are leaves and flowers in here. So I'm just doing the part that is the actual belly and not a flower or a leaf. And I know I already started out wrong. No, I didn't. Uh, all right, I got it. It was just looking weird, so I get going on it. It's kind of hard to distinguish what was what until you do a couple and then, okay, I see it now. Okay, now for the leaves, uh, G382 Pond Green. It's a brighter green than I usually use. But I thought it would go nicely with the flowers. So I guess on a, a, a pretty day would include stopping smelling the flowers. And my flowers are going to be pretty pink. So I've got the smell element covered twice. Smelling the flowers. Well, no, actually three times. Smelling the birthday cake. And the owl has a nose. Because it either had to be um, scents and or nose. So I've got those covered, I believe. And the pink flowers will be RV394 Sakura Pink. Look at those bright, pretty flowers. I just hope the rest of the owl comes out as I envision. A lot of these flowers will be covered up by the cupcake, depending on where I place it in the arms. Um, or wings, I should say. Oh, I forgot a green leaf. Okay, now for the owl itself, for the eyes, I didn't really want them to be white. That would be too bright. So I chose um, E494 Pastel Peach. So it's kind of a yellowy brown, even though it says peach, it, it doesn't look peach to me. And I'm just doing the whites. I will leave the white dot in the center of the eye because that's supposed to be white. But for the, the whole eye itself, I thought would look better colored in. Now, I've got two different colors of brown. Um, I have a thin persimmon. Oh, yeah, the other colors for the cupcake. So thin persimmon for the owl. And I can use my larger uh, chisel tip. Just 
just going to go over once and then I'll go back over it in certain areas to make this color a little darker. One nice thing with alcohol inks is the more you go over an area, uh, the color will change. But I could even use the belly color as a highlight if I wanted. And I am coloring the arms simply because when I, even though I'm going to put on extra arms, not guaranteed that the bottom arm won't show. So I'd rather have it be colored in. Right now, I'm going to go back over above the eyes and down to the nose. And then I think on the, the wings are going to be darker. Yeah, you can you can just get various shades with one color. There we go. Now to do his arms. I'll try and get in that same color. one okay now the cupcake for um, the candle is going to be the same pink as the flowers and also the icing but then I'm going to when it's all put together I'm going to put stickles on the icing so that the icing will be different than the candle. And for, so this is gonna be a chocolate cupcake. But for the wrapper, I want to do, oh, I want to do a lighter color. Um, let's see. What would this be? Yeah, that kind of looks like a cupcake wrapper. This is uh, E399 Sandy Brown. And I don't need my big chisel end. I want the pointed end. And the flame is going to be YR792 orange. Okay, now let me put this together just to see where I want my owl to be. So I have this, it's your day, have a cupcake. So I'm gonna stamp that down in the center there. It's your day, have a cupcake. And I'll just use the VersaFine Claire Nocturne again. Yes, nice. Okay. 
Yes, Pumpkin, I hear you. He's all the way upstairs. Pumpkin likes to be a little, um, not, I don't know if he's being a tattletale or if he's whining that no one will play for him, play with him. I'm not really sure. Um, okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna glue down this owl flat. Now I'm gonna pop up the cupcake. But if I do that, it covers the nose. Well, I guess we'll just, he has a nose, uh, but we'll just go with the, the, smelling the flowers and the scent of the birthday cupcake. That's where the back didn't come off here. Well, <laughs> it is one of those days, it looks like. Do you ever have those days? Okay, if I move it like that, it's not totally covering her nose. Now for these, I'm going to use my Zots. These are my min minuscule glue dots. I'm gonna put one on the paw, or the, yeah, the wing. One at the back. Same for the other side. I might just put a little, I think I will go with one of these squares underneath the front paw just to raise it up. Here I'm calling it a paw. The wing. Okay, now to get out the stickles. Have my stickle brush here. All right, where did my stickle brush go? There it is. Now I want the icing to just have some shine. I don't need a lot. Kind of makes it look like it has sprinkles. All right, now I am going to wink of Stella, the flame, and the owl's eyes. And then I'm going to put you on pause while I get my hole punch for the top of this. This is nothing fancy. This is just an office punch from the 1980s when I worked as a secretary before I became a nurse. Um, just an office punch. All right, I'm going to put it right about here and try to give it a go with my arthritis. There it goes. Did it go all the way through? Yes, it did. Will it come off? Yes, it did. Awesome possum. Okay, now I have, um, this is from Darice. It's Baker's Twine. I think it came from either came from Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. I don't need it that long. And I'm gonna put 
put this through here. So then I can tie it to the package. And I have that birthday sentiment. There it is. I want to put it on the front, or am I going to put it on the inside? I'm going to put this on the inside, and then I'll write her a little message. I'm going to stick it right in the middle. All right. Well, there's my craft roulette submission for this week. Let's see if I've met all the parameters. It needed to be a mini card. Yep, that's a mini card. It's a gift tag, but it's also a mini card. Colors need to be a pretty day. Pardon me, I need another drink. Um, I've got the blue sky, the pink flowers, and the green leaves of a beautiful spring day. Uh, elements need to be scents and or noses. Miss Owl has a nose. She's smelling the cupcake. The flowers are pretty scented. She stopped to smell the flowers and they ended up on her belly. And random packaging. This front piece was from the packaging of Gina Kay. The owl, the cupcake, and the wings were all parts of that packaging. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't heard of or checked out Craft Roulette, I'll have the link to this episode below. And you should really check it out. It's an amazing show. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.